Okay, welcome. Uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial over the next coming weeks with the DJI Ronin MX. I don't see too many tutorials on YouTube uh, with the MX version. Alright, so we're here. Let's get started. First of all, your stand. The ones with the claws on top, you notice right here, that's what goes on top. So, you got these little buttons, it's pretty simple, you turn them. The claws should be facing upwards. Goes in the back. My preference is to push this silver trigger in and have it high up. Now, this is where we go on to the handles. You're going to need these two, the handlebars. And this part here. So, doesn't matter which one goes in, place it in, we screw it. Simple. The beauty about this Ron, Roman, Ronan, sorry, is that it all fits together pretty nicely. It's not too complicated. Once you've done it one or two times, it becomes uh, very simple. On the handles inwards. So that one goes there. There you go. So this is the part you don't want to be damaging. <laughs> so you have to look after this. The silver at the back with the switch needs to go at the back. Slide it in, it just slots in perfectly. Tighten it up. Okay, now you have the gimbal pretty much ready to go. Battery you find here, you should have two of them. Place it in, just screw. So, here we go. For my camera preference, I use a D500 because I like photography too. Um, it's, it's a good camera. I'll probably do a review or I'll put some samples. I've already got one sample on my channel of a video uh, promotion I did. Um, it takes some good footage. If you want purely video purposes, um, there are other options out there. It's a pretty heavy camera, but if you like video and photography is one of your things too, then I'm a, I prefer Nikon. But Canon are very good. I'm not, I'm not a fanboy. All right, so when you put the camera on, you're going to need this plate. You place a plate at the end. Put the screws at the front. Now level it out. Make sure you have the camera level or it may cause problems with the balancing. Here comes the fun part. Notice that I have this piece on top. It just slots onto the where you put the flash. It's important that you unscrew slightly the screws or it won't fit the flash properly. So you have to undo it and put it on. Do you need to have this on? No. Depending on the weight of your camera, they do advise you in the instructions to put this on. But I can use it on smaller cameras, the one I'm recording with right now. And it works pretty well. But 
with this one, with a heavy camera, you need this really. So, you slide it in, press the silver button on the back, and now it comes to the balancing. So, let's see what happens here. Once that's screwed, actually keep it loose for the time being. Screw it in, but keep it loose. Normally I screw everything half tight because it all needs moving. So, notice how it's going forward. So it means it's top heavy. One thing I've got to do is take the lens off. And the second thing I've got to do is make sure the slider at the back, I have it in position, the viewfinder, so I can see when I'm videoing. Unless, of course, you're using a phone connected, which you place on top and you can see from there, which is a good idea. But from here, it's fine. Wait. So it's falling forward. I place it in the middle, it falls forward. See that? Very simple. It's your plate that's the problem. Undo it, and what I'm going to do is slide it forward. See, it's slowing down already. You have to be very, very gentle. Right, so I place it. Ah, not bad, it's staying. Move it forward a little bit. Not bad. Test the angles. Not bad. Stays. It stays. All right, because I've already had it more or less balanced before I set up, I need to give you a few instructions. So, what you got to keep in mind is that if you place it in the middle and it goes forward, like that, it's the plate. If it goes backwards, it's the plate. You have to either move it forward or backwards depending which way it's going. Now, if you place it upwards, like that, and it doesn't stay, depending on which way it goes, forwards or backwards, it's this part here. You just undo the clips on both sides, you unscrew these so they're loose, and you slide up and down. Literally, it's a quick little job. You slide up, down, depending which way you want to go. The first time you do this, it's going to take a good, uh, maybe 30 minutes, depending on the camera you have. Okay, and the lens, how heavy it is. It all depends. And the first time it can be a little annoying, so don't get frustrated. But once you've got past that first time, it's easy. So you just test it, shouldn't be falling back, see how it's falling back a little bit, not good, so I'm going to have to adjust a little bit these sides, Perfect, bad guy. Now I've gone too far. Notice now I'm, I'm unscrewing these and I'm moving it sideways to balance. Be good to me, come on. Good. Sorry, we don't need to do it that way. Good. And good. 
sometimes you're having a little bit of a problem getting the exact balance just a little bit like here where is it that's fine like here you can get a little bit of blue tack and put a little bit of uh, weight on the end here it's a little fraction sometimes it's annoying so here should be ready to go let's see There you go, it set itself up. If you push it up, it should go right back. Push it down, right back. Switch it off. Something I forgot to mention is this back part here. You have a silver uh, nudge there. Uh, so, sorry, a red silver notch. And you have a screw at the back. That determines whether, when you pick this up, it falls off balance. It's good. It's good. If it was off balance, when I picked it up, it would have done this. Or it would have done that. If I'd gone this way, it would have done this. You pick it up. From here. From here. Okay, it's pretty silent right now. I have to play with the settings a little bit, which we're going to do that on another video. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, please put a message in the box at the bottom, please, and I'll try to answer as easy as possible. If you're having a problem understanding what's happening, let's put it on my face. Let's try it. If you're having a problem understanding how I did that, sometimes the voice, the volume is a problem. It confuses people. So turn the volume down and try and watch parts that you get confused without any sound and it will help you understand. Okay? That's what I do with most YouTube videos when I get confused. I just turn the sound off and watch the actions and it always helps a lot. Thank you very much. Hopefully we see you soon. Thumbs up if you like the video, if it's helpful.